Hi and welcome to my very first video tutorial for Bricks Motion. Today I want to teach you how to create these stacked animated cards. So let's jump right in it. In Bricks we will begin with a hero section that stretches the entire height of the viewport. So we will give it a height of 100 VH. Inside this section uh, we include a container and a simple headline, but feel free to style it to your needs. Now let's move on to the interesting part. In the second section we'll craft the stacked animation. To get started we will add a simple section and a container. To give our animation the right flow we will set the container's flex direction to row. Inside this container we'll place a div and give it a class of scroll wrapper. Make sure that the div has a height of 300%. Within the scroll wrapper we will add another div uh, called scroll section. Mm, and this div will act as the trigger for our animation. So each scroll section should have a minimum height of 50 VH and a position set to sticky. This way everything stays in place as our animation unfolds. Now we will create a div inside each score section. This div will represent our card. We will assign it a class of card and give it some dimension. Uh, let's say a width of 45 rem and a height of 50 rem. I also added some padding and I've set the position to relative. Don't forget to set the transform origin to bottom left, so the animation will start at the bottom left corner and goes to the top right. You can insert any content you like inside the card. Uh, we can now duplicate the scroll section seven times or as needed. However, remember to leave the last scroll section empty. This ensures the animation of the final card triggers correctly. And now let's head back to the first scroll section and set the sticky top value of 8 rem on the ID level. So top will be 8 rem. After that we will add 2 rem to each subsequent scroll section. This will create a visually staggered effect. So the next card will have a top value of 10 rem, the third card will have a top value of 12 rem and so on and so on. Um, next we will select our second card and apply a top value of 2EM and a left value of 2EM. And we will then continue adding 2EM to both the top and the left value for each subsequent card. So the next will have a top value of 4EM and the left value of 4EM and the third card will have a top value of 6 and the left value of 6 and so on. This helps to give each card its unique position within the stacked arrangement. Okay, our sticky cards are all set up now. We will add another div inside the container and this div will have a class of scroll sticky. Uh, we will set its position to sticky and give it a top value of 20 rem. Um, so we have enough space to the top. Inside the sticky section I've included a simple headline and some dummy text. Okay, lastly we will add another section, photo section, um, with a height of 100 VH and some dummy text. It's the same as the hero section. And this section will allow us to scroll through the stacked animated card section. Okay, great. Everything is set up perfectly. Okay, in the Bricks Forge panel, we want to add a new timeline and set the trigger to scroll trigger and the trigger selector is targeting our scroll section. Make sure you are uh, targeting the right class. In this case, this class is the same class I assigned to the scroll section. We want to handle the trigger separately, uh, ensuring that each card animates when its corresponding scroll section comes into view. To configure the animation behavior, we want the scroll start set to top top and this means that the animation will kick in when the top of the trigger aligns with the top of the viewport. 
Okay, now let's talk a little bit about toggle actions. Um, this gives us control over different stages of the animation. So we want our animation to play when it comes into view, like this. We want to complete it when we leave. So this makes sure that if we scroll very fast through these uh, stacked animated cards like this, the animation will complete. If we don't put the complete inside of it, the animation will stop in the middle. And then uh, when we go back, we just want it to be paused. And when we leave to the top, we want it to reverse. So if we come back again, it will just start from the beginning. So the values should be play, complete, pause and reverse. That's it for the settings. And we can now add our first animation. We will start with the card itself. So we want to target the card. Uh, make sure that you are setting the right class here. In my case, it's the class I assigned to the card. The method should be set to from two. And in the from tab, we will set the scale to zero and the opacity to zero two. In the two tab, we will set the scale to one and the opacity to one. So it's, it's transforms to the original height and width and the card is fully visible. I have set the duration to 0 0.3 and the easing to back, but feel free to experiment with these settings. The second animation will target the card title or whatever you have put in the card. So in my case, I have the title with the same class and I again want to set the method to from two and in the from tab, we will set the opacity to zero and in the two tab, we will set the opacity to one. The duration is set to 0 0.3 and the ease is set to power in and I activated split text and stagger. So each, each character of the title will be animated separately. And yes, our stacked animated cards are now all set up. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for joining me and until next time, happy animating.